I am Mark Tooley, President of the Institute on Religion and Democracy in Washington, D.C. Why did you sign the Manhattan Declaration? Well, uh, it was uh, pulled together by a group of uh, distinguished uh, Christian thinkers, above all uh, Robbie George at uh, Princeton University, who uh, serves on the board uh, of the IRD. And of course, it addressed uh, two very important issues uh, before America, the uh, definition of marriage and uh, the sanctity of life, issues that have always uh, been uh, close uh, to the, the message uh, and the core of the mission uh, of the IRD, especially as they relate to America's uh, churches. So I did not hesitate to uh, sign the Manhattan Declaration, and I hope it will have a, a wide and ongoing um, influence uh, in America, especially within America's religious life. There are some people out there, it's all over the blog, saying that this document infringes on their rights. You are forcing your opinion and your values on them. Do you in any way see this as actually freeing them to have their own values? Well, those who uh, make that allegation seem to be almost transposing their own agenda uh, upon others in that uh, the movement to uh, impose uh, same-sex marriage uh, on America largely uh, desires to uh, suppress free speech and uh, religious freedom and to impose uh, uh, an activity uh, upon uh, the majority who uh, disapprove of that activity. And so uh, the Manhattan Declaration is simply a uh, defense of what uh, most Americans uh, still believe in, especially the vast majority of uh, religious uh, Americans. And it certainly is an assertion of uh, free speech and uh, religious freedom. Is there something near and dear to your heart that you want to speak about in this interview? Well, uh, that which is the core mission of the IRD, which is that America's churches should remain faithful to their own uh, historic doctrines and beliefs, uh, which include uh, the definition of marriage as the union of man and woman and the defense of um, all sacred human life.